final. The winner of today's game will be playing Milford at Taunton High School at 5 p.m. tomorrow in the sectional semifinal. Today we'll be seeing Graham Hopkinson Hillers host the Raiders of Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contact officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon an MIAA school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and subject the violators to ejection and also may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Now for today's lineup. For the visiting Raiders of Somerset Berkeley Regional High School, number two, Alyssa Oliveira. Number six, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Gagnon. Number 12, Olivia Sova. Number 19, Kayla Padula. Number 29, Grace Gagnon. Number 30, Callie Machado. Batting first at shortstop, number 22, Megan Antea. Batting second, starting at left field, number one, Alexa Calvano. Batting third and starting at catcher, number four, Lindsay Chidup. Batting fourth and starting at second base, number 25, Savannah Nguyen. Batting fifth and starting at right field, number seven, Courtney Ferrer. Batting sixth and starting at pitcher, number eight, Abigail Cataret. Batting at seventh and starting at first base, number 18, Aaliyah Walker. Batting eighth and starting at third base, number 10, Julianne Pacheco. Batting ninth and starting at center field, number 11, Mariah Mizori. The Raiders are pitched by Sally DeMoss. And now for your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. Number three, Christina Weldon. Number seven, Hallie Keith. Number eight, Isabella Anzi. Number nine, Elizabeth Liberta. Number 15, Lily Rancatori. Number 17, Caitlin Sylvester. Number 18, Kendall Copley. Batting first and starting at second base, number 19, Emily Whalen. Batting second and starting at right field, number five, Katie Holly. Batting third and starting at shortstop, number 11, Molly Bennett. Batting fourth and starting at pitcher, number 12, Heather Holly. Batting fifth and starting at left field, number 14, Lindsay Whittles. Batting sixth and starting at third base, number 10, Emma Murphy. Batting seventh, our designated player, Julia DiBenedetto. Batting eighth and starting at first base, number 16, Madison Abbott. Batting ninth and starting at center field, number two, Lily Morningstar. And starting at catcher for the Hillers, number 20, Julian Cedia. The Hillers are coached by Scott Soderberg. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. Please provide a round of applause and we thank you for your service to our country. We now invite all to stand for the playing of our national anthem. You can direct your attention to center field.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for this South Division I high school softball playoff matchup between the 19 and 2 Hopkinton Hillers and the 16 and 6 Somerset Berkeley Raiders. Tom Nappy on the call, multitasking on camera as well as we have half of our crew up at the baseball game, which is starting at 4 p.m. We will have the broadcast of that game available on HCAM as well, as we are just about ready for the first hitter of this game. We'll get you the Hillers Diamond as well as the Raiders lineup. And we are ready for softball here on this beautiful, sunny, clear day at Hopkinton High School. It is Megan Antaya stepping in against Heather Holly. She'll take strike one. Megan Antaya, the shortstop. Let's take a look at the Hillers Diamond. Heather Holly is on the mound. Jillian Cedia behind home plate. Madison Abbott at first base as that pitch just outside. At second base, Emily Whalen. Maddie Bennett, the shortstop. Emma Murphy over at third base. From left to right, Lindsay Whittles, Lily Morningstar, and Katie Holly. as this one is hit in the air over to left field, and it's dropped in left field as Whittles was trying to make the catch. And Antia reaches on the error. Routine fly ball, and the lead runner is on for Somerset Berkeley. Stepping in now is Alexa Calvano, the left fielder. Let's take a look at the Somerset Berkeley lineup. Megan Antaya, the shortstop. Alexa Calvano, the left fielder, falls, tips that one away on the bunt attempt. Lindsey Chubbick, the catcher, and the cleanup roll. It's Savannah Nealon, the second baseman. Courtney Ferris, the right fielder, batting fifth. As the bunt attempt is strike two. Abigail Cataret, the pitcher, batting sixth. Elia Welker, the first baseman, batting seventh. Julianne Pacheco, the third baseman, batting eighth. And Mariah Majuri, the center fielder, rounding out the order for Somerset Berkeley. There's a swinging strike, and that is going to be out number one. And that will bring up Lindsey Chubbick, the catcher. So the lead runner is on second base for Somerset Berkeley. Antia reaches on an early error in left field. Lindsey Whittles battling the sun a little bit. Drop the routine fly ball. And we'll see if Somerset Berkeley can capitalize. In just a moment, we'll take a look at the bracket. The Hillers have played one playoff game. They beat Dartmouth on Saturday, June 3rd, 2-1 to get here. They had a bye in the first round. They are the third seed in this South Division I bracket as that one's followed away 0-2. Somerset Berkeley is the 11th seed. They finished the regular season 14-6. and In the first round, they defeated the 22nd seeded Attleboro Bombardiers 10-1. And then they got a win against the sixth seeded Braintree team. A upset there as there is another strikeout. Two straight strikeouts for Holly. And now they are here in Hopkinton. This game was going to be played a couple days ago at Medway High School, but they had to postpone it due to mound issues. The mound was not secured in, and Somerset Berkeley agreed that it was unsafe conditions, and they ended up uh, going home for the day and coming back here to Hopkinton a couple days later for this one. Wind up and the pitch. Check swing. It is a one and one count on the second baseman, Savannah Nealon. Holly delivers, fouled off the top of the fence, one and two. Raiders led by head coach Sally Gamash, assisted by Robert Costin, Brian Leonard. Is Emily Travis. Hillers, of course, led by head coach Scott Soderberg, who's done a great job in his first season as the head coach for the Hillers. He's been with this program a few years as the assistant coach. Holly set to deal. On the ground, up the middle. Holly running over to first. A little flick over to first, not a problem. 
And one to three goes Nealon, despite the lead runner reaching second base, no harm done. We head to the bottom of the first. The Hillers coming up next on HCAM. We are ready for the bottom half of the first inning. Hillers coming up to the plate for their first time on this beautiful afternoon. As we've had some rainy weather all season long, but especially this past week, it delayed this game from taking place yesterday. And now it is taking place on Wednesday, June 7th. The winner of this game advances and will play Thursday, June 8th at Taunton High School against Milford at 5 p.m. So we are getting into the neutral site part of the postseason schedule as Emily Whalen steps in for the Hillers. We'll get you the Hopkinton batting order in just a moment. And we'll also get you the Somerset Berkeley Diamond as well. Middle infielders playing in on Whalen. She is a bunt threat. She'll take ball one low. Emily Whalen, the second baseman, batting first. Katie Holly, the right fielder, batting second. Madison Bennett, the shortstop, batting third. Heather Holly, the pitcher in the cleanup role, as that one's up high, 2 0. Oh. Lindsay Whittles is the left fielder, batting fifth. Emma Murphy, the third baseman, batting sixth. Julia Di Benedetto, the designated player, batting seventh. Madison Abbott, the first baseman, batting eighth, as there's a strike. Lily Morningstar, the center fielder, batting ninth. Julian Cedia, the catcher. Is the odd man out of the batting order. Wind up and the pitch. There's another strike, two and two. Let's take a look at the Raiders diamond. On the mound, it's Abigail Cataret. And she is certainly a hurler. Has some good velocity as this one's hit up the middle, fielded by the shortstop, throw to first, not a problem. Six to three goes Whalen, one away. That'll bring up Katie Holly. So Abigail Catter at the pitcher, Lindsey Chubbuck behind the plate. At first, it's Aaliyah Welker. Second baseman is Savannah Nealon. Swinging strike there. The shortstop is Bengen Antaya. Julianne Pacheco, the third baseman. We'll go left to right after this pitch. Swinging strike, 0 and 2. Alexa Calvano, Mariah Majuri, and Courtney Ferris are the outfielders from left to right for Somerset Berkeley. Wind up in the pitch. Hit in the air, left side, foul out of play. Set to deliver, Allen Lowe. And this one's up the left side, right to the third baseman, a rocket down the line, two away. Line out there, now Molly Bennett will step in. That one is low, 1-0. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have a pitcher's duel on our hands here today. Two great arms on the mound for both of these teams. That one's low. Somerset Berkeley, they've done a lot of traveling since uh, this game was scheduled as they came all the way to Medway High School just to find out the mound was loose and they didn't want to play with that. They tested it out, didn't like it, went back home and they're back here in Hopkinton today. That one's fouled away, one and two. Hillers were ready to play, however. They went out there and practiced and took advantage of the situation. They practiced on the Nice turf field at Medway. As this is up the left side and foul out of the reach of the third baseman. Count remains two and two. Larry Sacklad, Bob Hamilton up at the baseball game. I'll be joining them after this softball game as that one is inside, little chin music. Three and two, the baseball team taking on 17th seeded Falmouth as they're trying to get into the next round as well. As there's a strike and she will go down looking. One, two, three, they go in the bottom of the first. A scoreless game as we head to the second inning. It's Hiller's playoff softball on HCAM. 
Top half of the second inning, Somerset Berkeley coming back up to the plate, a scoreless game here at Hopkinton High School. Five, six, and seven do up for the Raiders of Somerset Berkeley Regional. And this first pitch is hit right up the middle, and that is going to be a single for the right fielder, Courtney Ferris. And that is the second time, second straight time that uh, Somerset Berkeley has started off the inning with the lead man reaching base. And that will bring up Abigail Cataret, the pitcher, who is going to try to take advantage of the situation. That one fouled away as the infielders come rushing in on a bunt attempt. Bunt once again pulled back outside. Runner taking off from first, and she will safely reach second. Pass ball there. Rare pass ball for Cedia. One one pitch. The bunt up the middle, slow roller. Glove by the first baseman. A good defensive play. It ended up being a. Three to four ground out as Whalen covered from second base. Ferris does push up to third. So the Cataret did get the job done. Leah Welker to step in. Leah Welker, the first baseman. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. Hit in the air, foul left side. 0-2. Oh Somerset Berkeley, a well-rounded team. Good pitching, good defensively, and some pretty good hitters in the lineup as well. They got a big win to earn a playoff spot as that one's fouled away. Count remains 0-2. Oh and they are also a program that has reached the postseason 10 out of the last 11 seasons. So that's pretty impressive for the Somerset Berkeley program. That one's fouled away. And the Hillers, if I'm not mistaken, have reached six of the last seven seasons to the postseason. That one is low, nicely done by Cedia behind home plate, making sure that one didn't get by. That would have cost them a run. One and two. That one inside, two and two. Pretty good battle going on here between hitter and pitcher. And this is hit up the left side, foul. Count remains two and two. Fouled away. Line up and the pitch. Up the first base side, slow roller, and a nice job by the first baseman, Madison Abbott, stepping on the bag and then immediately looking to third to make sure that Ferris didn't go. Two away, and Julianne Pacheco, the third baseman, stepping in. This is a little bloop shot. Holly's got it, and the jam is done. No harm done, even though the lead runner reaches. The Hillers will take it as it is scoreless heading to the bottom of the second between Somerset Berkeley and Hopkinton. It's Hiller's playoff softball on HCAM. A nice packed house here at the Hopkinton High School softball field for this playoff matchup between the Raiders of Somerset Berkeley Regional and the Hillers of Hopkinton. And 
as Hopkinton set to come back up to the plate. Bottom of the second inning, a scoreless game. The windup and the pitch to Heather Holly. That's fouled away. 0 oh, and 1. She pushes that right down the first baseline. 4, 5, and 6 do up for the Hillers this inning. Holly Whittles and Murphy. Wind up in the pitch. That one is just outside, one and one. Set the deal. Fouled away, one and two. Holly has done a lot of damage with the bat lately. She's had a lot of big hits. Four home runs on this season. That is team leading. And towards the top of the TVL as well. That one low. Two and one. A 299 batting average, and that average has really climbed up the last few games. She's been on a hot streak with the bat, but a swinging strike there for out number one. Second strikeout of the game for Abigail Cataret. I'll bring up Lindsay Whittles, who's been another good hitter in key situations for the Hillers. 232 on the season, but she has come through in the clutch a handful of times. Now one outside, one and O. Oh. And this is pushed over to the left side and handled by the third baseman on the line out. Two away, a little pop fly actually. And that'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman. Murphy a junior, 400 batting average on the season. Take strike one there. She has scored 11 runs herself, driven in 15, and has been a key part of this Hiller's offense. Swinging strike, 0 and 2. Now one low, one and two. Well, Hopkinton, they're facing a power pitcher here today. A lot of fastballs they are going to see from Cataret. That one's fouled away. They're just simply going to have to make contact with a few of them to put some runs on the board. Abigail Cataret, a junior, an up and coming star in Massachusetts High School softball as she strikes out Emma Murphy there. And that is her third strikeout of the game. We will head to the top half of the third. It's a pitcher's duel and a scoreless game between Somerset Berkeley and Hopkinton. Top half of the third inning, a scoreless game between the Hillers and Somerset Berkeley. Somerset Berkeley, the 11th seed in the South Division I bracket. Hillers, the third seed. Trying to advance to play second seeded Milford as this one's hit up the middle, fielded by Whalen. Throw to first, not a problem. Four to three goes the center fielder, Mariah Majory, and there's one away, and that'll bring up Megan and Ty the shortstop. And this one is hit foul. Oh, and one. Heather Hawley has had a great season on the mound. She's done a very nice job filling the role in the pitcher's circle. That one just outside, one and one. Overall, a 148 ERA, 12 wins, two losses, 17 appearances, 17 games started, and 12 complete games for the senior, who will be attending Dominican University next year. That one's fouled away, one and two. Megan Antia reached on an error her last time up as she fouls that one away. Count remains one and two. Holly delivers. And this is pushed up the left side into left field. That'll drop down for a base hit. And she'll be held up rounding first, a single. For Antia, one out single. And it's the third straight inning that someone has reached for Somerset Berkeley. 
Alexa Calvano, the left fielder, to step in. Fouled away, 0 and 1. One out, one on. Holly delivers, and this is hit in the air over to right center, and it's fielded by Morningstar. She had to jump up and make the catch, but what a great defensive play. Two away, and a very nice job getting the throw right back in. Morningstar having to battle the sun, and the sun no issue for her on that one. It'll bring up Lindsey Chubbick, the catcher. Fouled away, 0-1. Oh well, the Hillers, they've faced a couple of uh, small jams here in this game so far, but as of right now, they've been able to get out of them, and they're trying to get out of this one as runner reached with one out, but there is two outs now. Fouled up the left side, 0-2. Oh Set to deliver. Inside as CD looks down the line at the base runner, making sure she doesn't go anywhere. And that one is fouled away. Another good battle here between a Raider hitter and Heather Hawley. Hit in the air, and that is foul out of the reach of Emma Murphy, the third baseman. So this is the quarterfinals round. Milford defeated Norwood on Monday to advance to the semifinals round, and they'll play the winner of this game, the second-seeded Scarlet Hawks, who wrapped up their regular season with a 19-1 and record, including a win right here in Hopkinton. That one's fouled away. Now it remains one and two. And that will certainly be a great battle over at Taunton High School, regardless of who wins this one. It's a 5 p.m. start on Thursday, June 8th. And then after that, it's the sectional championship round. Hit in the air, a high fly ball over to the deepest part of the infield. Emily Whalen under it, no problem. And she will make the catch for the third and final out to the bottom of the third. We go a scoreless game here at Hopkinton High School. Bottom of the third inning. Hillers coming to the plate. Due up is the seven, eight, and nine hitters. The designated player, Julia DiBenedetto, the freshman will start things off, followed by Madison Abbott and Lily Morningstar. DiBenedetto has had a great season and she is going to be a huge offensive asset for the Hillers for the next three seasons after this one. The freshman is hitting a 453 on the season, has played in 20 games of the 21, that one upstairs. She has scored nine runs, driven in 16. Impressive numbers, to say the least. Swinging strike, one and one. She's second on the team overall in hitting behind sophomore Katie Holly. As that one's fouled away, one and two. Abigail Cataret pitching a nice game so far for Somerset Berkeley. He gets another strike out there, one away. These are the teams that are still alive in the postseason, the ones that have the good pitchers. And you are going to get a lot of these kinds of games going forward as Madison Abbott steps in. There's strike one. Abbott on the season has played in 19 games, 282 batting average. 
And she will hit this one over to the second baseman, a pop fly there for the second out. Lily Morningstar, the center fielder, will come up to the plate. And it's almost feeling like this game is going to come down to what team makes the mistakes defensively. Morningstar, sophomore, 467 on the season, takes strike one there, swinging. She has scored seven runs on the year and driven in four. She was injured for a major part of the season, but hits this one over to left field towards the fence, and that is going to be a foul ball. And stayed just inside the ballpark, certainly had the power, but just in foul territory, but got a good piece there. 0 and 2 is the count on Morningstar. And I'll tell you, this Hillers team, I know they're thinking about it right here, right now, but they are going to be stacked next year as well. That one outside, 1 and 2. Just looking at the roster, some of the players that are coming back, good part of their core. Right up in the pitch, upstairs. 2 and 2 now on Morningstar. Morningstar was injured in the I believe it was the second or third game of the season against Milford, the first game that we had for you on H Cam, first home game. That went outside, a full count now. And she was trying to field a ball that was hit towards the center field fence. I believe it ended up being a home run. But she was close to catching it, but collided with the fence, and Morningstar will draw the walk. Good at bat there for Lily. That'll bring up Emily Whalen, the second baseman, one on, two outs. Will Whalen bunt? That is the big question. And that is always the question when she steps in, regardless of the situation. Very good bunter and tremendous speed. Takes strike there, 0 and 1. Set to deliver. And this one's up the middle, gloved by the shortstop on the little bloop shot. And that'll be the third and final out of the bottom of the third. It is a scoreless game as we head to the top half of the fourth inning on HCAM. Top half of the fourth inning. Raiders back up to the plate. Scoreless game as Heather Holly set to deal. That one is just outside. 0-1 oh count on Savannah Nealon. Second baseman, excuse me, 1-0. Oh. Now it's 1-1. One one. <coughs> Little wind blowing in here, as expected whenever there's a game at Hopkinton. It's certainly not as bad as it usually is as of right now, but the wind here is certainly temperamental. It can pick up at any time. As that pitch outside, 2-1 and one to the second baseman. And the cleanup hitter, four, five, and six coming up for Somerset Berkeley. Gets a piece of this one up the left side, the throw across the diamond from Murphy, and she will get it there in time. A nice five to three ground out. One away, Courtney Ferris, the right fielder, to step in. Good solid throw from Murphy. And in the first postseason game against Dartmouth, they had it was Lindsay Whittles over at first. There's a strike. And they gave Madison Abbott a day off, but now Abbott back in there at first. Whittles back over at left field. And so far it's so so far it's been uh, pretty good defensively for the Hillers. Strike two on Ferris. A couple of good plays by Abbott. Holly deals. That one fouled away as Ferris stays alive. Holly delivers, and this one's hit over to the right side, out of the reach of Emily Whalen, who came all the way over, but it is foul. Some good ground covered there by the speedy second baseman. Yeah. 
Once again, multitasking here today on camera and calling this one. We got Larry Sacklad, Bob Hamilton up at the baseball game, which is just getting started up. I'll join them after I'm done here at the softball game. Softball started up at 3.30, baseball at 4. Exciting playoff atmosphere here at Hopkinton High School. Wind up and the pitch. And there is strike three. Got Ferris looking. Two away. That's the third strikeout of the game for Holly. And now Abigail Cataret will step in. Fouled away. For those of you that missed the Dartmouth game, the Hillers' first playoff game this past Saturday on June 3rd, you can check it out on the HCAM YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. We also have highlights and interviews up there as well from that game. An exciting victory for the Hillers. A little pop shot right over to Holly, and she will have no problem making the catch for the third out of the inning. Somerset Berkeley goes down 1-2-3 for the first time in the game, but it is scoreless as we head to the bottom half of the fourth on HCAM. Ready for the bottom of the fourth inning at Hopkinton High School. Hiller's coming up and they'll bring up part of the batting order they probably want up right now. Two, three, and four. Katie Holly, the right fielder, start things off. Followed by Madison Bennett, the shortstop, and Heather Holly, the pitcher. As we are ready to continue on here in this one. Been a good pitcher's duel so far between Abigail Cataret and Heather Holly. Cataret has mowed the Hillers down one, two, three in the first two innings, gave up a walk in the third. That one's fouled away, 0 and 1. But Heather Holly has pitched a nice game as well. And right now, very tough to predict what the outcome of this one will be. The bunt up the middle, fielded by Cataret. Throw to first, and she's saved. Holly showing off the speed, beats it out. What a nice job by Holly. Speeding down the line, a routine play, and it was uh, nicely fielded by Cataret. But Holly showing off the wheels, and now Molly Bennett falls that one away, 0-1. Certainly has the feeling that you're going to have to manufacture your runs in this game. As that one's fouled away. Holly taking off her second, and she gets the stolen base. <laughs> Thank you. Stolen base for Holly, and they have a runner in scoring position, just what the doctor ordered for the Hillers. And now a bunt, and that is fouled down the third baseline. Wind uh, starting to play a factor in my paperwork here. Had to chase down some papers, and thanks to the help of a couple uh, spectators at the game, I was able to do so. That one fouled down the third base side. Oh, and two on Bennett. Molly Bennett, a senior, 340 batting average on the season. Takes a ball there. One and two, she's played in 19 of the 21 games. Driven in eight runs, scored 23. And will strike out here. One away, runner on second, Heather Holly to the plate. Trying to help her own cause here. That one's fouled away, 0 and one. Fouled away, 0-2. Oh Cataret deals. 
Up the middle, slow roller to the second baseman, throw to first, they get her. Holly does advance over to third, but there is two outs for the Hillers. And pretty much any base hit will get Holly in. And she has tremendous speed. But a base hit's certainly hard to come by against this pitching. So now stepping in is Lindsey Whittles. The clutch hitter for the Hillers this season. This is clutch. A 1 0 count. There's ball two, 2 0. Whittles has had two hits that ultimately ended up winning the game for the Hillers. Popped up left side over towards the fence and. It is dropped on the catch attempt, but it is in foul territory. The third baseman, Julianne Pacheco, could not hold on to it, so Whittles will stay at bat, two and one. Runner on third, two outs. She deals. Up the first base side and foul, two and two. If that one stayed fair, well, actually would have been able to tag the first base bag pretty easily. So it's fortunate that didn't stay fair. That one fouled away. Good battle here between Whittles and Cataret. Cataract deals, swinging strike, she got her. And that is another strikeout for Abigail Cataract, and she will get out of the fourth with no harm done. To the top of the fifth we go, a scoreless game between Somerset Berkeley and the Hillers on HCAM. Ready for the top of the fifth inning, the 11 seeded Somerset Berkeley Raiders and the third seeded Hopkinton Hillers in the South Division I sectional bracket. Scoreless as we head to the top half of the fifth. Great pitcher's duel between Abigail Cataret and Heather Holly. Tom Nappy on the call. Beautiful sunny day here at Hopkinton High School. The wind up and the pitch fouled away. 0 oh and 1. On to Aaliyah Walk Welker, the first baseman. 7, 8, and 9 due up for the Raiders. There's strike two. Some gas there by Holly. Set to deliver, hit foul up the left side. Wind up and the pitch, outside, one and two. There it is, strike three, one away. Four strikeouts in this game for Holly. Julianne Pacheco, the third baseman, to step in. She flew out her last time up in the second. That one is hit foul right over to the Hillers' bullpen area, 0-1. It's been an interesting week for the Hillers. Certainly more time off than you would normally get in the postseason. Usually it's game after game with very little time off. As this one's lined up the middle, that'll get through in a center field. It's a one out single for the third baseman. So Pacheco reaches. That'll bring up Mariah Majory, the center fielder. That's the third hit of the ball game for Somerset Berkeley. Ball one outside, one and oh. Chaco taking a big lead off of first. That one's fouled away, one and one.
She deals. Up the middle and foul. At the third base side, rather. It looked like it was going to go up the middle. One and two. Started off up the middle and took an awkward hop on the infield dirt. And we mentioned that lots of rain occurred this past uh, couple of days as that one's fouled off the catcher, Julian Cedia. To get the fields ready for both the baseball and softball team for today's playoff games, they had to do a whole lot of field work. Brand new infield dirt. They had to air dry the fields. A whole lot of work was done to get these fields playable. As that one's hit in the air over to center field, it is caught by Morningstar. Runner stays put at first, two away. The grounds crew did a great job here at Hopkinton High School getting these fields ready. Lead off hitter Megan and Ty, the shortstop, stepping in. And she will pop this one up over to shallow center and Whalen will Fight the sun, work her way backwards, and make a tremendous catch for the third and final out of the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the fifth we go. It is a scoreless game between Somerset Berkeley and Hopkinton on HCAM. Bottom of the fifth inning. Miller's coming up to the plate. Starting things off for Hopkinton is going to be Emma Murphy, the third baseman, as she will pop this one up. And it is rolling fair now, foul. Smart move to wait for it. Six, seven, and eight do up for the Hillers. Emma Murphy, Julia D. Benedetto, and Madison Abbott. She deals, swinging strike, 0 and 2. Four strikeouts for Holly in this game, as for Cataret, she's racked up a few as well. Good eye there by Murphy. She has five to her credit. Five strikeouts for the Somerset Berkeley pitcher, Abigail Cataret, that one upstairs, 2 and 2. Both of these pitchers have well-rested arms as they had a few days off before this one. Hit in the air, a little pop shot, and it's caught by Cataret, one away. Julia Di Benedetto, the designated player to step in. Let's see what the freshman can do against Cataret. Ball one there. It's been a fun pitcher's duel between Abigail Cataret and Heather Hawley so far. Inside, 2-0. Oh. Di Benedetto takes ball three. Three straight balls. There's ball four, four straight balls to Di Benedetto and she will take first. And that is the second walk of the game, surrendered by Cataret. And now Madison Abbott, the first baseman, will step in. And while the infield has a conference on the mound for Somerset Berkeley, Madison Abbott Head over and talk to Coach Soderberg as well as D. Benedetto. And the infield probably just, uh, and of course the head coach for Somerset Berkeley, just giving their pitcher some words of encouragement after throwing four straight balls. So it is one on, one out for the Hillers. Madison Abbott stepping in. The bunt, pulled back, low, but strike one. Oh, looked low from here. But the umpire liked it. There's a bunt, 
up the middle, and that is a beauty of a bunt, the throw to first. They get Abbott, but she got the job done. Di Benedetto pushed up to second. So she sacrifices the out there to get the runner in scoring position for Lily Morningstar. And with the way Morningstar had a great at bat in her last time up, they figured they'd give her the shot with a runner in scoring position, but a swinging strike there, 0 and 1. She deals. That one upstairs, one and one. Set to deliver. Down low, two and one. Big lead by Di Benedetto, but she'll get back to the second base bag. Inside, three and one. Morningstar walked in her only at bat in this game in the third. Will she walk once again? And she will hit this down the third baseline, but foul. Good vision on that one. Maybe swing a tad early. Full count now. She deals. Air strike three, got her looking. And Cataret gets out of a bit of a jam to wrap up the fifth inning. To the top of the sixth we go. We're still scoreless between 11th seeded Somerset Berkeley and third seeded Hopkinton on HCAM. Top half of the sixth inning. Good pitcher's duel to say the least between these two teams in this South Division One. Quarter finals matchup. Alexa Kelvano steps in and that one is foul. 0 and 1 on the tip. 2, 3, and 4 for Somerset Berkeley. Alexa Kelvano, left fielder. Lindsay Chubbuck, the catcher. And Savannah Neal in the second baseman. Fouled away, 0 and 2. Now the outfield. Pretty much drenched in sun, except for left field. Good amount of shade there. Infield covered up by a bit of shade. Sky's perfectly clear. A couple little cr clouds around, but beautiful weather here. As there, strike three. One away. And I feel like Holly, on a regular basis, as the game goes on, she just gets stronger and stronger out there on the mound. That's her fifth strikeout of the afternoon. Lindsay Chubbuck, the catcher, steps in. And strike one. Chubbuck 0 for 2 so far this afternoon. Struck out and flew out. She deals. Fouled away, 0 and 2. Holly set to deliver, and this is up the middle. Takes a hop on the dirt, and it's bobbled. And Chubbuck will reach on the error. Second error of the game by the Hillers. A bobble by Molly Bennett over at short. Savannah Nealon, the second baseman, to step in, as first she'll have a talk with the head coach. And I think here you'll have to look out for the bunt. It's certainly a possibility as I think both teams realize that more than likely they're going to have to manufacture a run. With the way these two arms out there in the pitcher circle are performing. Wind up in the pitch, fouled away. 0 oh, and 1. 
One on, one out. Now it's fouled away, 0-2. Set to deliver. Hit in the air over to center field. Morningstar makes the catch, and she's going to throw it back in. The throw to first, in time, double play. What a nice job by Morningstar. A perfect throw back in. Hiller is well aware of the situation, and they get the double play to wrap up the top of the sixth. To the bottom of the inning we go. We're scoreless in Hopkinton. Ready for the bottom of the sixth inning. Top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen steps in. Ball one. Great double play by the Hillers to wrap up the top half of the inning. As this is hit in the air over to the second baseman and it's a line out for Whalen, one away. Katie Holly to step in. Savannah Nealon flew out to Lily Morningstar, then a beauty of a throw in. It was a runner on first who was not able to get back in time. She was almost at second base and had to turn all the way back. Great throw in, and they get her heading back to first on the tag up. That one is low, one and one. Lefty awaits the pitch. Pushes that one foul, one and two. Pitch to Holly. And this is up the middle, a rocket that'll get into left field for a base hit. And Katie Holly is aboard with one out, a single. And that'll bring up Molly Bennett. Second hit of the ball game for the Hillers. That one low. Holly certainly a threat to take off. One on, one out. Ball two as the catcher looks down the line towards first. Holly back to the bag. Line up in the pitch. Ball three to Molly Bennett. Three straight balls. My cataract, and she certainly had trouble finding the plate the last couple of innings. There's strike one. There's strike two, fills up the count. Heather Holly do up on deck. Fouled away. Up the third base side and foul. Now it remains full on Molly Bennett. And she will hit this one in the air. A pop fly caught by the third baseman, two away. Heather Holly to step in. Runner on first, two outs. Can Heather Holly help her own cause here? Fouled away, Holly takes off her second, but she'll have to turn around and come back. She deals. 
Up the middle on the ground, fielded by the pitcher, Cataret, throw to first, no problem. One to three goes Holly. And after six innings of play, the pitcher's duel continues. We are scoreless between Somerset Berkeley and Hopkinton on H camp. Top half of the seventh inning. Hillers, Somerset Berkeley, a one loss elimination playoff match trying to advance. Up the middle goes the first hitter. The throw to first, not a problem. Six to three on the first pitch of the top of the seventh. As Courtney Ferris, the right fielder, grounds out, one away. And now Abigail Cataret, the pitcher, will come up to the plate. There's a strike, 0 and 1. That one low, 1 and 1. Set to deliver, fouled away, one and two. Holly deals, swinging strike, and she got her two away. Elia Welker, the first baseman to step in. Top of the seventh in this game. Only about an hour and 15 minutes old. Is this one up the middle over to the second baseman? Whalen the first, no problem. And that will wrap up a very quick top half of the seventh inning. As Welker goes four to three. One, two, three, they go. To the bottom of the seventh we go. The Hillers with a chance to walk off here in this scoreless matchup. Bottom of the seventh inning. Somerset Berkeley zero, the Hopkinton Hillers zero. But this gives the Hillers a chance to walk off here if they can play to run, but that certainly is not going to be an easy task against this pitcher, Abigail Cataret, who has thrown a gem, as has Heather Hawley for the Hillers. Five, six, and seven do up for Hopkinton. Left fielder Lindsey Whittles, third baseman Emma Murphy, designated player Julia Benedetto. Tom Nappy on the call for Hiller's softball. Working the camera as well. We got Larry Sacklad, Bob Hamilton up at the baseball game right now. I'll join them after this one's through. 0 oh 1. If it ever does get through, the way these two hurlers are throwing, who knows? Could go into uh, several extra innings. That's fouled away, 0 oh 2. Hillers baseball leading one to nothing in the bottom of the third. That one outside. They're up against 17 seeded Falmouth. One and two is the count on Whittles. Hit in the air, a pop fly over to shallow right field and that's gonna drop on the infield dirt. I don't know if the wind played around with it up in the air but that's a base hit for Whittles. Uh, well. Needed base hit for the Hillers, and that is a leadoff base hit for the Hillers. Some certainly playing a factor there. Now the bunt up the middle, slow roller, fielded, throw to first. They get one, but the lead runner push up to second. So Murphy gets the job done. Runner in scoring position with one out now. Julia Benedetto to the plate. As the infield will come in and talk with their pitcher, Abigail Cataret. This is a game winning run on base. Can the Hillers do it? Upstairs. One and oh. One on, one out. Winner of this game advances to Taunton High School tomorrow to take on Milford. There's a strike, one and one. After Di Benedetto, it's Madison Abbott due up.
Check swing, she held two and two. Two and one, excuse me. Wind up in the pitch. There's strike two. Two and two. Fouled away. Good battle here. Hit in the air over to right field, battling the sun and making the catch is Courtney Ferris, two away. I'll bring up Madison Abbott, the first baseman. Runner returns to second base. It's Lindsey Whittles on base. And this is popped up left side and caught by the third baseman. And that is the third out of the bottom of the seventh. We're heading to extras to the eighth we go. And it is scoreless in this playoff matchup at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the top half of the eighth inning as we are still scoreless between the Hopkinton Hillers and Somerset Berkeley Raiders. And this has been a great defensive game and a great pitcher's duel between two very good softball hurlers. The wind up and the pitch hit in the air into the Shallow infield, Waylon works her way over and makes the catch as Julianne Pacheco and the very first pitch of the top of the eighth flies out. One away, Mariah Mazur, the center fielder to the plate. Holly deals, hit in the air and that is out of play foul, 0-1. Holly set to deliver. Bunt up the first baseline, picked up, throw to first, they got her. Nice job by Madison Abbott and Emily Whalen coming up with the big play. And they have certainly practiced that, you can tell. And that is the second big play that that combo, the second baseman, first baseman combo has come up with in this game. Two away as Megan Ann Taya, the shortstop, takes strike one, 0-1. Oh she deals, there's strike two. 0-2 oh on and Taya. The defense at times has been an issue for the Hillers, but so far this afternoon playing very well. Up the middle it goes, past the reach of Holly. The throw to first is not going to be in time. And they will call Ntai is safe. It was a good throw, but Ntai with some good speed coming down the line. And there's a runner on with two outs. And now stepping in is the second hitter in the lineup, Alexa Calvano, the left fielder. There's strike one. Just high, one and one. Pinch runner into the game. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Excuse me, actually, they'll keep an tie in there. One and two. Two on, uh, two outs, one on. Holly deals, and this is chopped into center field. That'll drop in for a base hit, and it's going to be a single for Calvano, and Taya pushes up to second, so now you got two on with two outs. Nice 
Stepping in is Lindsey Chubbick, the catcher, a dangerous hitter. So far today, Chubbick is 0 for 3. She reached on an error in the sixth. Swinging strike, 0 and 1. Holly deals. Fouled away, 0-2. One strike away from getting out of the jam. And that is hit in the air, out of play. Two count. And that one is hit to the left side foul. Crush that into the woods. She deals. Swinging strike. Out number three. And Heather Holly and the Hillers get out of the jam. It is a scoreless game heading to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth inning, the Hillers coming back up to the plate with a chance to walk off once again. And leading things off is Lily Morningstar, the ninth hitter in the lineup and the center fielder, nine, one, and two coming up. Lily Morningstar, Emily Whalen, Katie Holly for the Hillers. Abigail Cataret hoping to continue the shutout. Hillers getting a part of the batting order. That certainly uh, could do some good. There's strike one on Morningstar. Lily is one, 0 for 1 today. She walked in the third. And she will hit this one past the reach of the third baseman, but foul, 0 and 2. Well, this is certainly a Classic game here between these two teams. And this is hit in the air over to center field, but it is caught by Mariah Majuri for the first out. And we'll bring up Emily Whalen. Whalen 0 for 3. She has managed to bunt and move a couple runners so far today. Thought about bunting there, but takes ball one. Infielders are playing in as expected. There's a ball, 2-0. Gets that running start, whether she's going to swing for it or bunt. You just never know what she's going to do. She'll bunt there, but foul two and one. Morning star, or excuse me, uh, Whalen. Having a nice season at the plate. She'll take that one low, three and one. She is hitting a 424. Has scored 24 runs, driven in 18, six doubles, three triples. And she will hit this one up the middle and it's bobbled by the pitcher, throw to first, they got her. What a great recovery by Cataret. And to be able to get Whalen coming down the line, that is no easy task, especially off the bobble. A one to three ground out, two away, Katie Holly will step in. Come 
and she will put this one foul up the left side, 0 and 1. Hit in the air, but foul up the left side once again, 0 and 2. She deals outside one and two. Swinging strike and she got her. We're heading to the ninth with a scoreless game in this playoff matchup between Somerset Berkeley Regional and the Hopkinton Hillers. Top half of the ninth inning, scoreless between Somerset Berkeley and the Hopkinton Hillers. As we are ready for the top half of the second extra inning of play in this playoff matchup. And what has been a very memorable pitcher's duel. As Holly deals, that one's fought off and foul by the cleanup hitter. Savannah Neal in the second baseman, 0-1. The pitch to Nealon, hit in the air, a high fly ball over to short, and a good catch by Molly Bennett, one away. Courtney Ferris, the right fielder to step in. She deals, upstairs, one and oh. Four, five, and six this inning for Somerset Berkeley. Upstairs, two and oh. Hit in the air, a high fly ball over towards the pitcher's circle. Emma Murphy will track it down and make the catch for the second out of the inning. Pair of fly outs, and now Abigail Cataret, the pitcher to step in. Baseball team currently leading five to one. That one upstairs over Falmouth. Have that game for you airing on HCAM as well. Mary Sacklad, Bob Hamilton at that one. Up the middle it goes, played at short, throw to first, not a problem. Good defense by the Hillers. Six to three goes Cataret. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. The Hillers have another chance to walk off in this scoreless game. Bottom of the ninth inning, the Hillers coming up to the plate. And this is a good part of the batting order to try to walk off. Molly Bennett, the shortstop, will start things off. Three, four, and five for the Hillers. Molly Bennett, Heather Holly, Lindsay Whittles, and the first pitch down low. It looked like Bennett was trying to square to bunt, one and oh. Abigail Cataret still out there. And still throwing hard. The bunt, slow roller, third base side foul. One and one. Miller's baseball up 5-1 in the third. I'm being told from Larry Sacklad, who's up at the field. Swinging strike, one and two. She deals, fouled away. Up the middle, fielded at short, throw to first, they got her. Six to three goes Bennett. Heather Holly to step in. A 
I think this game's gonna end on a Heather Holly home run right here in the ninth. That one inside, one and oh. Strike one. Two up next, Lindsay Whittles. Up the middle, past the pitcher, over to short, throw to first, they got her, two away. Two straight six to three ground outs. Lindsay Whittles to step in. Down low, one and oh. Well, both of these teams certainly giving it all they have tonight. Well, this afternoon for right now, but a few more innings it might be into the night. One and one. Whittles singled her last time up in the seventh, one for three overall, takes that one upstairs. Two and one. Base is clear, two outs. Hit in the air, a high fly ball over towards short, battling the sun, but she'll make the catch. And they go down one, two, three in the ninth. To the tenth inning we go between Somerset, Berkeley, and Hopkinton. And guess what? We're still scoreless on HCAN. We are ready for the top half of the tenth inning. And Somerset, Berkeley steps back in. Ball one to Aliyah Welker, the first baseman. Seven, eight, and nine this inning for the Raiders. Wind up and the pitch. That one's fouled away, one and one. The pitcher's duel continuing on. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and one. Three and one, another low pitch. Well, it's the 10th inning. We'll see if uh, any of these pitchers start to look a little tired out there. And that one is hit foul up the left side. That'll fill up the count. Leah Welker over three this afternoon. And we'll put this one up the right side, fielded by Whalen, throw to first, no problem. Four to three on the ground out, one away. Now will bring up Julianne Pacheco, the third baseman. If this keeps up, I might need to start a new page in my scorebook soon. That one outside, one and oh. Hit in the air over to center field, right to Lily Morningstar who makes the catch. And she's certainly been busy out there in center, two away. Ryan Majory to step in. She's 0 for 3 so far. As the center fielder steps into the right handed batter's box. Swinging strike, blazes it by her. 0 and 1. Well, I don't think I've seen a Hiller softball game go this long, as this one is a slow roller up the left side, fielded by Murphy at third. Throw to first, she got her, no problem. Five to three goes Majory. To the bottom of the 10th we go. Hopkinton, Somerset, Berkeley, scoreless in this playoff battle. Bottom of the 10th inning. The Hillers will have their fourth opportunity to try to walk off with this playoff victory. Six, seven, and eight due up for Hopkinton. Emma Murphy, the third baseman, to start things off, followed by Julia DiBenedetto and Madison Abbott. And the 
First pitch is ball one. Abigail Cataret stretching out the arm after that pitch. And I'm sure both of these pitchers are a little bit tired at the moment. And this is up the middle past the reach of the shortstop. It's a base hit. A leadoff base hit for Emma Murphy. And that'll bring up Julia Benedetto. That is exactly what you want if you're the Hillers. And now the coach coming out for Somerset Berkeley to talk to her infield about the possible scenarios here. And a pretty good situation for the Hillers. You got Di Benedetto coming up, good hitter. And she's walked once today, 0 for 2 overall, but did draw the walk. She is going to try to knock in the winning run. Certainly will be no easy task. There's strike one, grabs the outside corner. 0 and 1. The bunt. Slow roller, third base side, fielded. Throw to first, they got her, but the runner does push up to second, so the job well done by Di Benedetto. Little sacrifice bunt there. One away, runner in scoring position. Stepping in, Madison Abbott. 0 for three today, that one low, one and 0. Will they send the Speedy Murphy to third? I don't think you want to risk the steal right now. Up the middle, over to the second baseman, throw to first, they got her. But the runner is pushed up to third. Lead runner to third, but there is two outs. Four to three goes Abbott. Lily Morningstar coming up to the plate with two outs, runner on third. And she will have a discussion with Coach Soderberg before coming to the plate. But if there was ever an opportunity to get a walk off, this is a pretty good one for the Hillers. And Lily Morningstar, pretty good player to have up at the plate. She's made contact a few times off this pitcher and had a couple of very good at-bats where she really challenged Cataret. We'll see if she can do it again here. Ball one. Any base hit ends the game. And this is hit in the air, over to left field, towards the fence, and that's gonna drop! And it's going to be the game-winning hit for Lily Morningstar. Emma Murphy scores, and the Hopkinton Hillers walk off in the bottom of the 10th and take the game one to nothing. Lily Morningstar, the hero this afternoon. What a pitcher's duel it was. But the Hillers get the job done and get the victory. They advance to take on the Milford Scarlet Hawks. Thursday, June 8th at Taunton High School, a 5 p.m. start. Lily Morningstar coming through in the biggest of times with the walk-off RBI base hit to score Emma Murphy. The Hopkinton Hillers advance to the South Division I sectional semifinals. And they have certainly earned this one Great defensive play, great pitching by Heather Hawley, and it was a long extended game. But the Hillers, they came to play here this afternoon, and they get the job done. We'll take a small timeout, come back, wrap this game up. The Hopkinton Hillers advance. The Hopkinton Hillers win this game in incredible fashion, one to nothing. It took 10 innings, but they got the job done. Lily Morningstar came up with one on, two outs. Emma Murphy was on third, and she smacks one into center field to drive in the game-winning run. And that was really the only offensive uh, play of the game to tell you about. The Hillers scored one run on five hits, committed two errors, while well, Somerset Berkeley had no runs, four hits, and committed no errors. A tremendous pitcher's duel between Abigail Cataret 
of Somerset Berkeley and Heather Hawley of Hopkinton. Certainly one for the ages. This game, an instant classic between these two teams. But the third seeded Hillers advance to the semifinals to take on second seeded Milford over at Taunton High School. What an unbelievable game that these two teams played here this afternoon. The final score for the final time. After 10 innings of play, the Hillers win the game one to nothing over Somerset Berkeley. I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching this broadcast of Hiller Softball, and we will be talking to you once again this season, and this time it'll be from Taunton High School and the South Division I sectional semifinals. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon.